Hello and welcome back to Raycom TV. Today we're going to be talking about multi companding options in our Wizicom receivers, especially as the new ENS is now available. Back to basics for a second. What is a compander? Well, a compander is an amalgamation of two words compressor and expander. So in our transmitter, our audio is compressed. And when it gets to our receiver, it's expanded again, so it fills the same dynamic range. And the companders must be matched at each end. What this allows us to do is effectively reduce the noise floor introduced during transmission to practically nothing. Each manufacturer has its own particular flavor of companding. Wizicom, as we know, has two, and now three different types of compander. And uh, sure, Sennheiser, Audio Limited, they all have their own flavor and it adds to the sound that transmitter gives. One of the biggest questions I get asked uh, almost on a day by day basis over the phone is uh, what are all the compander options that are available on our MCR 54 and even our MCR 42 and 52 receivers? So let's take a look at each one. Traditionally in our Wizicom transmitter, MTP40, MTP41 or MTB40, we have two different types of compander. We have ENR and ENC. ENC is optimized for vocals in an ordinary environment. ENR is enhanced for noise reduction. That's the way I always remember it. NR noise reduction. And now of course, with a new ENS compander available in the MTP60 transmitter, which is just a further evolution of the ENC and ENR companders we have existing. Of course, one of the benefits of having a Wizicom receiver is you're not just tied to a Wizicom transmitter. Because of the DSP processing in the receivers, you can emulate other manufacturers' companders as well. All the companders that are available in the MCR42 are available in the MCR54. However, there are a few that currently are just limited to the new MCR54. So let's go through the existing companders that are available on our MCR42. So the first compander we come to is Sen. So that's for the Sennheiser hide-in range of transmitters. There's also EVO, which is for the Sennheiser HDX range of transmitters. Then we come along to Shaw. And for Shaw, we have the SR compander, which is for R series um, transmitters. We have AL for Audio Limited. Then we have the OVL Compander, which is for the Overline DP range of transmitters. And last but by no means least is the Q5X for the Q5X range of transmitters, including the QT300 Aquamic. Moving across to the MCR54, we have all of the Companders that were available to us on the MCR42, plus two new ones. Those Companders are SK and SU and those are for the U-series Shure transmitters Mark I and Mark II. So there you have it, compounding in a nutshell. One important thing to remember is that when you are setting your compounders on your receiver, that you do make sure you're using the same compounder in your transmitter, otherwise it's going to be suboptimal. Thanks for watching, and please click like, subscribe, and the little bell notification for further content. And don't forget, be proud of your sound.